<laughs> okay, let me talk. You know what I'm talking about tonight? Acorns. Nuts. A nuts. Big nuts. nuts. Big nuts. Real, I mean, I, I, saw, okay. I saw these tonight in this this graphic that the, the world's greatest weather producer put together, and I was felt like a 12-year-old boy <laughs> making jokes here in the studio. Let oh me show you this. Have you seen these pictures? Have you, have you met Ryan Wood, Cynthia? <laughs> Uh, yes, he's a good man, Ryan, Ryan Woods. Ryan Wood is one of our, uh, uh, was one of our producers here. He now runs the community service department. Yeah. This is uh, some video. I don't know why the video is not playing, but it's some video of, of, of lots of acorns. Have you noticed the acorns in your neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, I mean, look, look at all this. You know, when I saw this video that Ryan sent me, the first thing I noticed was his deck is in desperate need of repair. Look at that. I mean, Ryan, come on, man. You need to get some work done on your deck. But look at all. It's a stain. Have you ever heard of stain? They have it at Lowe's and Home Depot. Uh, but look at all of the acorns. Uh, and it's just an abundance of these. And me being the conservationist, I know that we have these, these mast years that are just fantastic for God's little creatures that are running all over the place. So I want to walk through some of this acorn knowledge that I have in my big head as the big nuts fall down here in front of me. Did, did the sound work, Ed? We did have good sound. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about some acorns, okay? So they're just a fruit, right? They're the fruit of oak trees and they're valuable for a valuable food source for many animals. Oak trees have irregular cycles of high and low acorn production. We have mast years, right? Uh, mast years are years with high acorn production and they occur every two to five years. I, I'm not making this up. I spent on and off all week looking this up because I've seen all of the acorns. I'm kind of a clean freak, so I'm always out in the driveway blowing this stuff off, but there's acorns everywhere this year. So when we have these mast years, the exact cause is unknown. I mean, I have looked at Every Audubon Society uh, website that I could find, I've looked at all this different, all these different websites, all this information, talked to some experts, and they say the exact causes why we have some years there's an abundance of acorns, like right now, why some are in abundance, why some are not. But the thought to be a combination of environmental factors and chemical signaling. Mast years have ecological consequences as well. Uh, the years come as uh, the increased population of deer and squirrels. So some years they're great, some years they're not. Do you see the deer that we have here? You see the, the deer? I'm not sure, it looks like it's got elk antlers. But then it's supposed to be the world's greatest weather producer tells me it's a white-tailed deer. Hold on, watch as it, watch as it moves, moves its head. Joe, I'm a bird hunter. I'm not a deer hunter anymore. Let me show you what's happening out there right now. The clouds are in, that, that's the deal. So with the deal with the acorns, why do we have so many some year, so many the other years? Is it weather related? The answer is, it's, it's undecided. All of the experts that I either talked to or all the research that I did online, there's no answer. I thought, well, is it because of a wet spring? Is it a dry spring? Is it a wet summer, a dry summer? What's happening in the fall that'll do this? And there's just no solid answer. So some years we have them, some years we don't. They're, they kind of go in those cycles of every two to five years. 